President Biden and former President Trump are on track to likely clinch enough delegates this week to be their party's nominees. Primaries are scheduled in four states tomorrow, including Georgia, that could put both candidates over the line. Fox's Caroline Elliott joins us live in Atlanta, where both candidates spent the weekend campaigning. Caroline. That's right, Christina. This right, voters should get ready for another Trump-Biden rematch in November. As of right now, Trump is leading slightly in the polls, but even the former president acknowledged over the weekend that this is going to be a tight race. Both of them coming in shows how important George is going to be and that everyone, you need to go out and vote. Donald Trump meeting with voters in Rome, Georgia before Tuesday's primary, where the former president lost the state to Biden in 2020 by less than a percentage point. If we win Georgia, we're going to win the election. Let me put it that way, okay? We have to win Georgia. President Biden held a rally in Atlanta over the weekend in an effort to reach minority voters. You are going to win this primary for us on Tuesday and because we're going to win in November. The Biden campaign announced plans to spend $30 million on ads over the next few weeks and increase staffing in battleground states. Both candidates warned voters there could be dire consequences for the country if the other wins a second term. Crooked Joe Biden has uh, directed lawfare and weaponization against his political opponents. He called Putin and he said, do whatever the hell you want to our allies. I'm not making these, I'm not making these quotes up. When he says he wants to be a dictator, I believe him. Tomorrow night is the earliest both candidates could clinch their party's nominations. And if that's the case, this will be the first rematch in a presidential election since 1956. Christine. All right, all eyes on Georgia again this year. Caroline, thanks so much.